All right, like I said, this is an extremely long lesson. We're 1.5. This is only one paper. Next video is going to go over 1.6. And then we have the last video of the talk to talk. Be extremely patient. I know, very long videos. Um, not very long videos, but just an extremely long lesson. Please break it up over a couple days, maybe two days at max. Okay. Quotient of powers. I like this. This is a quotient rule. Oh, no, my pen. The quotient rule. Okay, let's investigate the numerator and the denominator as a product and then simplify figuring stuff out. I like this a lot, okay? This is going to be some pretty cool stuff. Hopefully, a lot of us get into the whole fact of it. Okay, looking at letter A, I'm zooming in as much as possible. Looking at letter A, I have a fraction, so I'm going to make a fraction bar. Ugly fraction bar, I tried my best. You want to make sure you remember there are five nines. I'm going to write the five nines. Nine times nine times nine times nine times nine. Okay. How many twos on the, or how many nines on the bottom? There are two nines. So nine times nine. Okay. What's going to happen here? Because there are a set amount of nines on the top and a set amount of nines on the bottom, I can reduce this to where 9 divided by 9 cancels and 9 divided by 9 also cancels, leaving me only 3 9s. How can this be written? 9 to the power of 3. How else could I have done this? Subtracting. 5 minus 2 gives me 3. If I continue, I'm going to do this one real fast. If I take 6 minus 3, that also gives me 3. Keep the base of 5 to the power of 3. You don't believe me? Let's check. 10 eighths. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. That's 4 tens. Um, another 4 tens. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Ignore this. This problem will go up here. And then the bottom 6 tens. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Cancel, 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 cancel. How many tens? 10 to the power of 2 because there's two tens. 8 minus 6, there's 2. If I look at the last one, I could do this super quick. Fraction, there are two tens up top. Nothing on the bottom, just that 110. Cancel. There's only 110. We could rewrite this as 10 to the power of 1. Very, very cool. Can we write a rule for this? Yes, most definitely. If I have a base of x with n on top and a base of x with m as another exponent, this is going to be my base n minus m. Don't forget, there are two key things when we're talking about these two things. We will divide the, exp the coefficients. I put exponents. Coefficients. My brain's always thinking fast. And we will subtract exponents. A lot to remember for my 8th graders, but guess what? When you come into geometry next year, you definitely want to make sure you know all these rules. Let's do all these other ones real fast. Without even breaking them up, but we can. 8 minus 3, that's 5. Keep the base, that's 6 to the power of 5. 7 minus 5, that's 2. Uh, 9 is the base. Keep that negative outside. There's my answer. Pretty straightforward. Let me just double check. Looks beautiful. This is kind of different. We can't really do anything with that. All we can do is just simplify it. Because 2 and 3 are not the same. Okay? So all we got to do is just make sure we do the fraction. Three twos because of the power of three. Two threes. I can't reduce because these are not the exact same numbers. Two times two times two in your calculator gives me eight. 
uh, three times three is nine. So we're just reducing fraction right here. Let's put a star right here. This is a different problem, okay? Beautiful. All right, next part, next lesson.